Shamai, GTA fans, the Anis RE7B is on discount this week for 1.5 million rather than 1.475 million, which is kind of a bargain. And here it is. No, it's not. That's the LM87. It's a different um, Le Mans style car. Here it is. This is the one. This is a two seater. And it used to be top of the class, a supers class, but it had some handling flags put on which Bruffy tells you all about, um, which basically destroyed it as a racer. It's still 11th, it's still pretty damn quick, but top speed wise, it's not brilliant. Uh, look at this, it's, I've not even got race brakes on. No, this is, I won this on the podium a long time ago, back when I started um, doing YouTubes, uh, that was it. So what can we put on this thing? Where's the exhaust even on, on this thing, on the side? All right, you can put these exhausts on which I'm not really a fan of, but I'm going to do it anyway. It kind of reflects the uh, the gingers in that and the blues. But we're going we're to take the livery off, I think. Uh, horn and lights, livery. Okay, so livery-wise, this is the best livery, the Pegasus one. You can have this one, it doesn't look as good. But we're going to go with zero livery. That looks weird, it looks naked like a baby. Okay, primary colour, rather than the matte, we're going to go for metallic. Ooh, metallic black looks good. This is a great looking car, it is. I like it. I'm not sure where to go with this. Are we going red again? We've, we went red all last week. Maybe we should go blue. Ultra blue. We've got orange already. Gold. Ultra gold. Why don't we have ultra gold? We've done dew yellow recently. Um, I'm thinking... We could do lime, but I'm, I'm not a fan of that massively. Oh, galaxy blue, dark blue. Saxon blue. I'm going to do a shark car, I think. I'm going to try Harbour Blue with uh, Ultra Blue Tint. No, I'm not going to copy him for that. I'm going to copy him in a different way. I'm just going to go Ultra Blue with a dark tint, perhaps. Actually, Ultra Blue looks good. Nautical Blue, but he went for a Nautical. Actually, a Nautical Blue looks good as well. Let's go. Um, Diamond Blue, no, Harbour Blue. Mariner Blue. Chocolate brown. I don't know what to go for now. I've confused myself. Maybe I should just go purple. Yes. Shafter purple. Or spinnaker purple. Oh, spinnaker purple looks good. I like that. That's a crazy kind of look to it. It needs to be lightened though. So to lighten it, we're going to add a pearlescent. This is what Sharkar would do. He, he's going to like this. Um, I'm ultra blue. Where is it? Lime green. Oh, lime green. Now that is ultra crazy. What do you think? Yes, <laughs> I've done it. I've sharkard it to the max, um, except for not as good as he does it. Uh, secondary colour. Okay, what have we got on secondary? What does the secondary colour up? I'm for sight. Any, anybody see anything? In? Eyes down. Look. Oh, there we go. The stanchions at the back. Well, they look nice in red, don't they? Wine red, cabernet red, grace red, blaze red, lava red. I think is the one to go for which is nice. Alright, let's see what else we can add to it. So we've not got a proper spoiler on, have we? Does that give us, the, does the carbon spoiler give us an extra traction boost? Because that's stock. It's not showing one. I'm, I've, got a, I've got a feeling that we should put it on anyway, just to see if it does give us a traction boost, um, which we don't really need. Suspension, by the way, if, if you want to change it, you can look, hire it. Why'd you raise it? I don't know why. Transmission, make sure I've not done anything stupid yet. Um, wheel type, this is, I mean, this is, these are stock rims. I'm not going to change them. I don't think I'll ever change them. They are awesome. Uh, what else have we got? Wheel colour, tyres, tyre enhancements, bulletproofs, tyre smoke. Red tyre smokes are free this week, so we're going to put those on. And windows, we could limo them out. We don't really limo them out for a race build, but it's kind of a posh person's car, isn't it? So I'm going to limo them out, pretend it's a posh person who can afford one of these cars. This is an amazing car. Um, I'm going to show you the performance. It performs similar to the LM87 over there, but it costs half the price on discount. I would not buy it unless it's on discount, but with a proviso that, remember, it's not going to win races on most scenarios. Maybe on a tight track um, that needs a lot of grip on the corners. It's got a lot of oversteer, so you get around corners really easy, nice and manageable. You can almost go like full speed around corners, it's crazy how fast you can take the corners in it, but not as crazy as the LM, LM87.
so it's a very much a Tesco value half price LM87. But if I was you, I'd wait for the LM87 to get on discount if you want to buy that car for performance. Oh, come on, chum. Which may be a long time, actually. Maybe a long time before they put the LM87 on discount. There's a bit of slip to it sometimes. It's rear-wheel drive. It's not a uh, all-wheel drive beast. Um, it's based on a Le Mans car. It's based on a few cars. I'm not too familiar with the cars, got to be honest. I think it's a Toyota. No, a Nissan R390 GT1, apparently. But I don't really know. Um, I've got to be honest, sir. I, I, sir, I looked at this for ages ago, and I, still, I was still none the wiser. It's not a car I'm familiar with. But it's very nice. Let's, sh let's see, look at the internals. There we go, electronic display, which is what you want, really. Come on, chum, get in my way. We're getting on through 30 out of it, then. These electronic displays aren't too far off, though. Let's just um, go out. I mean, look at it. Let's just look at the externals. That's a great-looking car. I think customization wise it's a bit lacking, yeah, it's a bit spartan, but it, it, it looks like a great car anyway. And it drives great. It's going to be very easy, very accurate drive for people because if you're quite rubbish at driving, I think the large amount of grip and the uh, the way that it's, it's not the, f the fastest, <laughs> but it is decent enough, you know, fast enough at accelerating. So if you're not too good at driving, but you want your first supercar, maybe this is the one, you know. But if I was you, I'd have got the um, <laughs> I'd have got the prior last week. Was it last week? Time flies so quick. But I was going to say this car is not worth it. That was my initial response, but I've not driven it for such a long time, and I've been put off by Bruffy's race handling flags, um, and I've not driven it and done my own test track thing. I don't think I have. I don't think it's on my test track performance videos. But anyway, I know it's it's not as fast as the SS8 S80 RR. That's that's going to be faster than this for sure, 100%. And the Ignis is going to be faster. And of course, the LM87 is faster. But you know, those are kind of similar. The Ignis is very different actually. Um, but the um, S80 RR is a very similar car. And so is the LM87, but both of those I prefer to this in, the, in performance. They do, and they don't have those crazy race handling flags that um, Ruffy goes on about, I don't think. Um, yeah, because uh, basically this car was top of class. It was just undefeatable, so they had to, they had to nerf it. <laughs> That's what Rockstar do, race handling flags. Hey, look, but it's so nice to drive. I won this on the podium and I just thought it's so good, why does nobody else drive it? And it's because it had been nerfed and um, so nobody else drove it for that reason. I wasn't aware of that because I wasn't into racing, I'm not fully into racing, you know, I do it every now and then, but the problem I have with racing is that my friends don't like racing and I think you really need a good bunch of friends to race because I find it very difficult to find sessions where people who are not absolutely knobheads are racing, but even just finding any races where there are people, where it's populated. I don't want to race against myself. Anyway, this I'm just driving this car. It's such a nice drive. It's so easy. That oversteer is nice. I mean, I've gone too fast around that corner. I took that bump there, see? Great, great car. You need to, you need to con consider it. But for one and a half million, it's not the cheapest, even on discount there. So maybe you'll be waiting for the other discount. Um, yes, the discount of the LM87, uh, or even the, the Ignis, if that comes on discount. Again, I think the Ignis has been on discount once, and that's my favourite overall, but it, it's not as grippy as this. It is grippy. Not as grippy as this. It's not the super grip. So let's put her away in her, in her garage, number one. That's where all the supercars and best sports cars go. And it is one of the best. Don't let there be any doubt about that. One of the best, but we're talking just outside of the top ten. You know, there's a lot of supercars. Is it worth it? Big question mark, big question mark. For me, I'd probably say uh, I, I prefer getting it on a as a prize ride or as a uh, as a podium. It's already been on podium, so I think that's a preferred method. But look at all these cars. Great. Anyway, if you found this useful in any way, drop a like and a subscribe. But thank you very much for watching. And now I'm going to try and find... Oh, no, it's only been 30 minutes. I'm going to try and find um, the M16 gun at some point.
but have a great day if you're playing Dash GTA. Any questions, drop them down below. Give me your comments on the RE7B, what you think of it as a racer. I reckon you could win some races in it against plebs, definitely. Definitely. Crack on, lads.